Hey guys, welcome back to another Cyberpunk 27 video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my best samurai build, which we are going to be focusing on a couple of things. One, we're going to be dealing a tremendous high amount of damage. We're going to be stealthy like a samurai. The great thing about it is that we're also going to be rewarded for being stealthy. And we are going to be one-shotting just about anyone. We're going to regenerate our health by killing everything that gets in our way. And we're also going to be regenerating our cooldown and stamina really fast. If you guys like how that sounds, a like is much appreciated. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, we got a lot more Cyberpunk videos coming our way. And also, thank you for those that have joined the bold nation and have become a member thank you so much guys your names are scrolling down here we appreciate your support 100 so let's dive into this video since we are a samurai in cyberpunk 27 we're going to be taking advantage of a couple of things so okay to take advantage of this our attributes points are going to be the following we're going to focus on body reflexes and also our cool but I'm going to be providing you guys with something here in the technical ability just to give you an option in case you guys are not fully leveled up on blades. So let's take a look at body athletics and we are going to be using the following perks that you guys see here highlighted in yellow. The main focus here is the following guys. This You see this one here? This, the Tenacious 5 gating hit does not interrupt our health regeneration. So... The main thing is that we're always going to be regenerating our health at any time that we are dealing damage. And then at the same time when we are not dealing damage. And to make that happen, we got to use the following perks that I'm showing you guys here. The invincibility increases our max health. This one increases our melee damage by 20%. Another one with the, uh, increases our stamina. This one is going to health slowly regenerate during combat. This one here increases carrying capacity because we need to make sure that we are going to be able to carry what we have. And then the informatious increases our health regeneration threshold from 70, 75 and then combat and 100% out of combat. So as you see, we're always going to be getting our health and it's going to be very hard for you guys to die. This one increases the max stamina by 30% increases the health regeneration activates 60 percent faster during combat and since we are a samurai with our katana we're always going to be dealing damage at all times this one's going to increase our regeneration 25 percent faster on your move on our health and this one's printing does not drain our stamina so as you see all those perks are going to be helping us stay in the game and now to make this even more fun, we're going to go on the reflexes, blades, level 18, and we're going to use the following perks. This one increases damage of blades by 100%. This one increases damage with blades by 3% every 1% of the health. Shifting sand, dodging while wielding a blade recovers 25% of our stamina. This one here, Sting Like a Bee, increases a stack of speed with blades by 30%. Combos with blades have 30% chance to apply bleeding and then increases crit chance with blades by 10%. Bless blade. And to be able to take more advantage of bleed, guys, we're going to be using blood loss. While wielding a blade, recovers 4% of health when hitting an enemy affected by bleeding, unbroken spirit, and also the death bolt. While wielding a blade, defeating an enemy restores 20% of our health and increases movement speed by 30% for 5%. And since we are a samurai, we're going to be taking advantage of the Sandabistan cyberware that is going to push this bill to a superior bill that you guys have never seen in Cyberpunk 2077. Now we're going to go into the cool and we're going to be using the 
ninjutsu and also the cold blood. So first, let's take a look at here. And we are going to be using the following perks that you guys see here from the shadows. This one's upon entering combat crit chance increases by 20% for seven seconds. This one strike from the shadows increases your crit chance by 7% while sneaking and dodge dealer. And this one, the passive assassin deals 50% more damage to human enemies. Now let's get into cold blood and all those perks that you guys see here are going to help this build push it to another level. This one, Blood Brawl, while Cold Blood is active, increases damage by melee weapons by 10%. Since we are using a Katana, you guys see that, right? 10% more. Now, main one is this one, Cold Blood. After defeating an enemy, gains Cold Blood by 7 seconds and increases movement speed by 2%. Stack up 3 times. And then we're going to be using the Cool Galant, the Cold and Calculating... Pain Illusion, Defensive Clothing, and the last one is going to be the Predator, which increases attack speed by 30% stack up when Cold Blood, which is this one. So overall, guys, we're going to be moving. We're going to be regenerating our health, our stamina, and at the same time, just taking out people with just one shot. I do have an option for you guys, just in case you guys don't have your blades fully leveled up. You can go into crafting and you guys can use the following perk, which is the H Runner Artisan. Use this one in all those different perks that I'm showing you guys here <clears throat> really quick. All of those are going to help you guys to be able to use an assault weapon just in case you guys don't have a katana fully leveled up and if you go go under assault use those perks so overall guys i'm giving you guys different options but the main one here is the katana as you i'm gonna show you guys here really quick and before i get into the cyberware in the different type of clothing that you guys will be able to use let me give you guys an example here just look at this. I'm very stealthy. And you guys may be asking, how come he's so stealthy? Well, I'll show you guys in my cyber work what I'm using. And look at that. One shot. Look. One shot. Look. See? Well, too bad, guy. So look at that. We're moving really fast. Look. One shot. We go. Moving fast. One shot. So overall, you guys are able to see how amazing this build is going to be. And the more you guys are moving, the more health are you're always going to be regenerated. As you see there, I'm running away and pretty much just regenerating my health. And I can come back and destroy just about even the cops that are coming right behind us. It's very easy to use. At the same time, it's going to deal a tremendous amount of damage. Now, as you guys were able to see and experience how amazing this build is you guys got to see how many i was able to take out i was able to defeat the police i was able to take out anyone that was just getting in front of me and guys when they come after you they come after you to take you down and you guys will be able to see how my survivability just increased by an insane level and also the more damage you guys are doing, the more you guys are going to be staying alive. As you guys were, are able to see here in this footage, you guys got to see how deadly it is. So now, how is this possible, guys? Now, let's open up our cyberware, and then I'm going to be letting you guys exactly what you guys need to use. Okay, so let's open up cyberware, and then I'm going to be letting you guys know about my inventory. So first, cyberware. This is what the meat is within this build. First one is going to be the mechatronic core. This one increases damage to drones, mechs, and robots by 50%. And as you guys were able to see there in that footage... I was able, I was being attacked by robots, but I was able to take them down very easy because of that cyberware. Now, next one is going to be heal on kill. This one will instantly restore 10% of my health after defeating any enemy that gets in my way. And you guys are looking at my whole cyberware and you're like, man, you're powerful because you got pretty much everything legendary and epic. But yes, guys, the higher 
you guys have on your different cyberware, the better this bill is going to be. But do not let that discourage you. Even if you guys have an epic, rare, or uncommon, you guys will be able to craft them and get better gear. But if you guys want to purchase things and don't have a lot of money, take a look at my two videos here. One is going to be two very easy methods. Every 10 seconds, you guys are going to be getting 2,000 eddies every 10 seconds. Take a look at the videos in the description. And the other one is the duplication glitch that you guys will be able to duplicate just about any getting any money, getting cyberware. You guys could go sell it or do whatever. And overall, you guys will become millionaires really quick and buy just about anything to make you guys very powerful vehicles or whatever you guys want to purchase. Next, we are going to be using the Kiroshi Optics MK3 Epic. This one the under the ocular system, you see there increases crit chance by 2%, automatically highlights enemy who have detected me, increases headshot bonus by 25%. Under circulatory system, we're going to be using the following. One, second heart. Instantly restore 100% of my health when I go down, giving me a second chance in life and taking out anyone that gets in my way. The other one is going to be the bio monitor. This one instantly restores 50% of my health when health drops to 15% cooldown of 180 seconds. And this one here is a must guide. The bio conductor reduces all cyberware cooldown by 30%. Overall, so far, all this cyberware and giving us in this build a very insane one to be able to use and to make this even better, we're going to be using the following in the immune system. One is going to be the shock in wave. After attacking damage, there is an 8% chance of releasing a large electronic charge that deals damage nearby enemies. And then we also are going to be using the catharsis. This one increases all resistance by 8%. Under my nervous system, we're going to be using the reflex tuner. This one slow time by 80% for four seconds when your health drops to 25% cooldown of 40 seconds. Not only under our operator system, we're using the best one, which is the San Debistin. I mean, if you guys want to take a look at my other build on, on how to create a Davis Martinez build, Take a look at that one, and trust me, it's very fun as well. But my katana here, this one, just it deals an insane amount of damage. You're always going to be staying alive because you're always going to be killing. And then we're going to be using the nano relays. This one increases the sand distance and carrying zinc cob durations by one second. Now, under our Integumentary system, we're going to be using the following. We have the Supra Dermal Weave. This one grants me immunity to bleeding. This one here does a when affected by burn, instead of receiving damage from it, you'll deal 10% damage, more damage to foes, which is just a ridiculous bill, guys. And this one here now increases my armor by 300%. Now, in, under operating system, we're going to be using the Dynalar Sand Bistons. This one slows down. The legendary one slows time by 25% for 16 seconds, cooldown of 24 seconds. The great thing about this build is that since we have different perks, that helps with the cooldown, helps with the stamina, helps with the regeneration of our health. This sand piston, we're able to bring it down to just about six second cooldown, which is crazy, guys. That is why we are able to stay in the game because of this single, single operating system. And you guys see there the different type of stats. Now let's move on onto our skeleton that we're going to be using the micro vibration generator increases base damage of melee weapons by 15%. And that is it's why you guys are able to see me just one shot, just about anything with my katanas. Then we are going to be using a micro roll tours. Hopefully I said that correctly, guys. 
increases the attack speed by 25%, making me very fast as a samurai. And then in our hands, we're going to be using the smart link. Now, if you guys want to go a different route, you guys can always use the Mantis Blaze. Not bad, 1914 DPS, but this is what the surprise is in the build, guys. And it's the Lynx Pause. This one, check it out, allows you to move and run more quietly. The sound of your footsteps will not carry as far. Even though, it's, check it out, 10,880 eddies to buy this. It is so much worth it because you are going to be very stealthy. You guys were able to see how close I got in there with my weapon and I wasn't even detected. Now, if you guys don't have this, you can guys always get the um, enhancement for your tendons that allows you to double jump and run faster. You guys can go that route. If you don't have that, it's less. It's less expensive, so if you guys don't have that, you can go that route. And the last thing is going to be the weapons and the armor. In regards to the armor, guys, I mean, it's up to whatever you guys have. So if you guys have any legendary or epic or whatever you guys have high, just make sure you guys do the following. And your body armor, go with whatever you guys have, but make sure you guys apply the armadillo mods if you guys don't know how to get this check out our uh, videos in our descriptions are going to be helping you guys on how to get this for free and as you guys see there uh in my whole entire armor i always have the armadillo because it's going to increase my armor and just overall just i'm gonna roll over look at this my armor is going to be 336 337 and now in regards to the weapons the main one is going to be the katana so you guys see there, I'm able to pretty much just deal 1,719 DPS and gives me a physical damage of 356 to 435, a minus 2497 stamina cost reduction while attacking 11% uh, more crit damage, 50% more crit damage, and 20% bleeding chance increased damage by 10%, increases my damage by 5, and also crit damage by 10%. And in the mods, I have the following. This one helps them with the increased crit damage by 10, increases damage by 5%. And also my, this one, this is probably my uh, lowest, which is the rare, increases crit damage by 10%. Overall, this weapon with this mod deals a tremendous um, DPS damage. And then for the weapon, I'm using this one, guys. This one also deals just about one shot, even though it doesn't have a very high DPS. But with this mod that I have installed here in the attachment, and since I'm being very, very quiet, and now, remember, this build does reward you on being stealthy. And with the silencer, allows you to reduce your damage by 15 percent and also disables bullets ricochet but with the different perks that we have this um silencer does give us an edge and also the uh scope you guys are able to see that and the different mods that we have here this one increases crit damage by six uh, eliminates horizontal recoil increases damage by five and also reduces weapon reload by Five percent. So overall, guys, we're just going to be a killing, killing, killing machine in Cyberpunk 2077. We're always going to be constantly dealing damage at anyone that gets in our way with our katana. The more we kill, the more we're going to be staying alive. So there you go. That is how you guys are able to put this build together. Final, final, final thoughts about this build. If you guys don't have legendary cyberware don't worry you can always use epic uncommon or rare but make sure you guys are always leveling up use our videos that are in the description to help you get more money and also the duplication exploit to be able to increase your money become millionaires really fast and then on top of that make sure you guys are always leveling up your blades under your perks and also your cooldown stamina in your health overall in no time if you are new to cyberpunk 2077 
you guys will become very, very lethal. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any questions in regard to this build. And also, thank you so much if you made it this far. Greatly appreciate you guys' support. Also, don't forget to hit the like. And also, if you haven't joined the channel, why not hit the subscription button? And also, if you guys want to be part, part of the channel by becoming a member, don't forget to join the Bolt Nation. We got a lot of great perks coming your way. And once again, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next Cyberpunk 2077 video.